Okay, so let's talk about setting up a, a, a Ubuntu server. Uh, this will be for our um, um, for project one in uh, CIT 161, but in general also. All right, so first thing I want to do is check my network settings. So um, instead of doing VirtualBox, which I tend to be using more nowadays, I'm going to actually do this in VMware um, just to mix things up. You know, I'm trying to be vendor neutral, so. Uh, anyway, more. Uh, we're going to open the file uh, location. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to check out the network configurations. Again, there's a previous video about setting up your cyber range. And there's a link to this tool. That's an internet security. Um, I should probably link it um, to this as well. I'll do that. I'll throw a link in there. Uh, but all I'm doing is I'm going to the working directory. Uh, so I'm going to open file location. And in that working directory is this exe, which I grabbed from uh, Workstation Pro or whatever the heck they call their pay for version. Uh, as long as this is in the working directory, in this case, program files x86 uh, VMware uh, VMware player. If I double click on that, uh, it's going to bring up my editor. Um, I did create a network. It's under 16, which makes sense for 161. Um, this is not following the rules of the project and don't copy this exactly. Um, I'm just doing this as an example. So I have a subnet of 10.61.0.0 with a slash uh, 26. Um, uh, so slash 26. Um, so that's good to know uh, when I'm subnetting up my server to know what, uh, the, uh, what kind of subnet I'm going to have. Um, so I'm going to hit cancel here. Uh, I can keep that as a note in my head, or I can quickly make that a note because I don't trust my head anymore. Welcome to old age, I suppose. Uh, so we got a new one, and I'm just going to write that down as a note. So if I forget, I can look it back up. Slash 26, which is that 255, 255, 255, 192. All right. So now I'm going to uh, bring up VMware. Uh, make sure I'm just I moused over there to make sure <laughs> at this point the icons are uh, all right as you can see I got the uh, Kali demo from the previous instruction uh, and I got a GNS 3 VM uh, but what I want to do is make a new one so if I make a new one I click on home I could also go into player and go through their menu but uh, create a new virtual machine uh, I have to do the installer disk Pretty sure I downloaded it here. There it is, Ubuntu Live Server. Again, uh, in the project here, I'm going to go with the um, 18042, which is their main line. Uh, you could go with 19. I don't see any reason why the lab would, wouldn't, or the project wouldn't work with it. Um, but I'm just going with the main line, which is what I would do in the real world because it's going to have more uh, support for longer. Um, 19 uh, right now is still kind of a it's it's leading edge. So um, anyway, so I'm just going to go with the mainline server, which is still fully up, uh, uh, updated and, and um, uh, supported. All right, so I'm going to click next. Uh, I'll give it a name. I'll I'll call it uh, CIT 161 um, 161 Pro One Project One, uh, uh, or I could just do I'll tell you what 161 underscore uh, um, pro oh I didn't want my cap lock I turn on pro serve that's good uh, that that'll work all right username what do I want to use for a username again I said keep it professional I'll do JJ Alves although I just read a cool article where someone was advocating using um, initials for less typing but I'm gonna do Luckily, my last. So, if you want to do your do your initials, that's kind of. In my case, it doesn't really matter. I have a small uh, or short uh, uh, last name. Uh, password again. Keep this professional. Um, although I won't ever check. Um, so something that is easy to remember. I'm just gonna go with uh, super. Uh, oh, I know pass question mark one. Actually, so um, this is going to be 106 Inc. I'm going to pretend like the last three of my uh, student ID. Um, so the last three numbers of your student ID. The last three of my student ID, I'm going to make 106. So what I'm going to do is just go pass, question mark, uh, uh, or how about you make it longer. Super pass, question mark, 106 Inc. There we go. Super pass. 
question mark 106 uh, ink. There we go. Uh, and let's put that in a note before I forget. So again, it's super pass um, question mark. Uh, you can and you can argue that maybe I shouldn't be putting this in. I could put it uh, kind of hide it, you know. Um, anyway, or I could just put company name, you know, pass equals super pass. Anyway, um, again, this uh, and this is something I want to save on the hard drive. Uh, anyway, as good practice. But for now, as I'm setting it up, I don't want to forget it, so I'm just gonna have that as my notes. I won't save the notes, or if I do save it, I will try to scrub this data somehow or make corrupt the data. Um, so what name would I want for this virtual machine? I thought I just set that. Oh, that's my full name. All right, so I want to keep this. I'll control X that. Um, sorry, that was for my user. See, I'm not paying attention. There we go, next. Uh, again, in this scenario, I'm just kind of setting up this server for 20 will be more than enough. I've already talked about how I prefer single file. Um, I do want to customize hardware. Eh, not really. No, I want to keep it on the network. It's going to be on the NAT adapter. That's fine for now until I start handing out IP addresses. So, uh, I'll keep it on the uh, internet. That way it can download the latest files and it can update itself. Um, all right. Although it will install without internet too. So it's, it's, it, it would have been fine either way. Um, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head if we're going to have to install. Um, and yeah, we're going to have to, we're, we're going to need the internet anyway to install the DHCP service. All right. So this is going to come up. Uh, I, this is all going to be um, text based install, obviously, because server is completely text based. I'm sorry for the weird audio, but I'm reaching for my other laptop right now just to bring up my install notes to make sure I don't mess anything up because I actually did this for real on my other laptop. Um, okay, well, uh, first question is relatively easy, right? We're going to do English. Uh, uh, we're going to do key, uh, the standard keyboard layout. Uh, again, I don't have a problem if you change any of this. If you have, you're more comfortable with something else, that's fine. Uh, so we have some options to install here. Uh, some stripped down versions. Uh, we're just going to install the full Ubuntu server. Uh, and we're, it's gonna, we're going to use that network adapter, which we have an IP from DHCP because we're on the NAT network. Done. Uh, we're, we don't have a proxy address. So done. Uh, we're going to keep the default mirror. Um, so uh, for, um, for uh, partitioning, uh, this is a virtual machine, so we're going to use the entire disk. Uh, we're going to use all 20 gig for uh, S, uh, uh, SDA, uh, and that looks good. We're also going to sure we want, uh, want yes. Um, and wants no. I'm going to format the entire drive. Yeah, go ahead. Um, okay, so this is all the information that didn't get passed along. Uh, so it doesn't really matter if I put it in the. Uh, virtual. This is the first time I'm installing this in VMware in a long time. So that's uh, server's name. Again, I think I did. Um, well, this, uh, so this is what we talked about in the project. So the project, I said, case in point. Now, I can't start with a number. Thank you, NetBIOS. Because um, I would prefer 106 Inc. underscore server 1 or something like that. But because I can't start with a number, I'm going to do SR server 1 dash 106 Inc. Okay, uh, pick a username. Again, I'm fine with my uh, first initial, middle initial, last name. You can do what you want. And here we had super pass question mark um, 106 inc. And we got to type it in again. Super pass question mark 106 inc. Done. Uh, we, we're not going to be SSHing to our server in the real world. That would be an interesting debate, whether or not you, as a consultant, if you're setting this up, whether or not you'd want to VPN in and, and configure the server if you get a call. Uh, but in this case, I'm not worried about that because it's a personal server and I'm, I don't want to spend the time setting something up that I'm not going to use. So I'm just going to say done and not install it. Uh, again, here's some, uh, optional stuff. Uh, we talked about this in class, some cool things like wormhole and all that stuff, which actually might make sense if you had internet and to patch your config files. We're going to run into an issue with config files here because, um, 
our, um, uh, we're not going to be able to, we could maybe set up a shared drive to pass that off. So we'll, we'll talk about that in later videos um, to get the config over to pass, uh, pass in for the, um, uh, so there we are. It's, uh, it's now installing the kernel and installing uh, the actual operating system. I'm going to uh, pause the video here, um, which again, this thing bombs out on me for some reason. Um, I'm, I, I should have a little button down here that you can't see, but I'm going to pause the uh, video and then when it's done installing, I'll, I'll restart it. Okay. Okay. Well, I finished installing and now I have this uh, option to reboot now, which I will do. Uh, hopefully VMware will be smart enough to take the boot disk out of the CD-ROM. And there we go. Uh, in the background, you might see I actually imported my notes over from doing it. Uh, now, this is going to be on VirtualBox, so the network card is going to be different, and I already kind of changed the password. So on VirtualBox, the network card was this. Uh, I'm sure in VMware I'm going to have a different name. Or, uh, well, I'm not sure, but it's, it's this extremely possible. So, um, all right, it's booting up. I still install the key. Fantastic. I'm um, sorry. Sorry for the muffin. All right. Um, I'll close this laptop. I don't need that anymore. I'll link those notes uh, over on my Google uh, on my Google Drive if you want. Um, again, copy and paste will not work because um, cop, uh, the clipboard is part of Windows X or GNOME or whatever uh, desktop environment. Um, so if there's no clipboard, there's nothing to copy and paste to and from. So um, uh, there could be an external program, I suppose, like um, uh, uh, if you loaded up um, Nano, Nano has a clipboard, so uh, it might work with Nano, but it, it's, anyway, we're not, let me see my crappy spelling too, I was on battery. Um, uh, so anyway, let's go back to the install. Um, there he is. He wants to log in. So I'll do my login. It was super pass question mark 106 and ink. And I'm in. Okay. Uh, it says 177 packages can be updated. 86 updates are security updates. That's all important to know. Um, tell you what, I'm going to take just while I work. Oh, well, let me do an if config real quick so I can update those notes. Uh, it is. It's ENS. Uh, well, it's ENS uh, 33, not 03. That is weird. All right. So ENS 33. Let me jump over to my notes here. And on VMware, it was uh, ENS. ENS. Is this 33? Yeah, ENS 33. Um, there you go. So that's my card there. Uh, that being said, I'm going to control A, copy this stuff. I'll, again, I'll, I'll link to those notes. Uh, and I'm going to put my put them down here. All right. Um, so these are my notes as I was doing the project itself. Okay. Uh, so well, yes to SSH. No to importing a user. All right. Uh, so in this case, it didn't try to run updates. Um, so we're going to update it ourselves. Uh, we'll use AppGap. Um, update. Oh, I got sudo. I, I got sudo that. I'm not in his root. Sorry, I used to Cali. Uh, super pass question mark 106 ink. There I am updating. And now I'm going to upgrade. And that's going to update all my packages. And I'm just going to say yes to those. Uh, there is a switch to say automatic yes, but anyway, I like to see that it's actually doing something. So, um, all right. Um, so I finished my updates. Oop, clear, and, and we'll finish up um, with this video here. Um, what uh, and uh, some later videos. What we'll talk about is setting a static IP. Uh, and then installing the tools to uh, the VMware tools um, to uh, be able to um, uh, uh, have a shared directory so that you can 
go back and uh, so you can uh, grab your config files and pass them in for the assignment. So uh, anyway, this finishes the setup. Um, uh, right now, as you can see, I started playing around with the um, net plan, but we'll talk about that in a later video. Uh, anyway, so um, what I'll do is I'll leave this video off for here, and then there'll be other videos to cover the other aspects. All right, talk to you later. Bye.